Hi, welcome. It's Mike Newton back in the swing studio here at Lytham Golf Academy. Just got a quick little swing tip for you here to try and help you generate a little bit better wrist setting on the backswing. Okay, see a lot of golfers as they take the club back, there's not a lot of setting of the wrist. It's very sort of wide, and sometimes this, you know, width is always thrown at us in terms of is a good thing in a golf swing. And don't go get me wrong, it is a good thing width, but sometimes golfers I find is they overdo that and then there's absolutely no hinge here on the back swing so it gets very wide here. There's no engagement of these wrists and trying to get this sort of set position. I've just seen a couple of golfers in my in my lessons here at the, at the academy are just sort of experiencing that. So we're trying to set them a little bit quicker to generate a better sort of plane of the golf swing and also improve strike at the bottom. So I've just got a quick little tip for you to help you improve that. Okay, so what I want you to do is, try and use, is use a, a range basket, turn it upside down and place it behind the golf ball here. So if I was to take the club back and not engage my, my wrist, so no wrist hinge at all, obviously I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually hit that basket. So my aim here is to try and get the club head to work and clear the basket, i.e. above it, so I'm not going outside it or inside it. I'm still going to work it towards the basket, but I'm engaging my wrist to clear the club so it misses the basket. So what I've got to do here is really get the, the wrist to hinge earlier in, in the backswing. So we'll go away, I'm going to try and hinge it to clear it there. So you can see here now I've got this angle starting to create in the, in the, in the backswing or in the arm and the relationship with the shaft and the arm. So as we take it back here, we can then see that, that, that set is a lot earlier. So then we can enable us to then to make the turn and finish the swing off. So just from a different angle here, you can see we're going to engage the wrist, get that hinge set in here, finish that back swing off by rotation of the shoulders, and then come back into into impact. So what I would maybe advise to start with is try that that movement without hitting a ball. So you're just going to work it, get the feeling of these wrist start and the hinging process earlier in, in this back swing. You know, work on that without hitting a ball first, okay, and then if you feel like maybe hit some balls without the basket there, if it feels like you're engaging the wrist a little bit more, back into this position without hitting the ball with a basket there, clear the basket, and then if you're feeling quite confident, try and hit a golf ball. Okay, I just don't want you to obviously clatter the basket here, but what we should be doing here is obviously clearing that basket and we should get some real crisp strikes in the golf ball. Yeah, lovely, straight shot there. Okay, give that little tip a work at the next time you're down at the drying range, especially here at the academy, we've got uh, 20 bays of um, some really good sort of power tees, hitting mats. You can use these little drills like this to try and help on that ball striking. Good luck guys, please subscribe and we'll see you all very soon.